Hello, it's Oil Watcher here. A little bit different setup. I kind of made my little comfy little domain here. Um, <clears throat> it's been a while, I, I know, and I apologize. I work in a group home, and it um, it's one of um, the industries that's extremely understaffed. And we <clears throat> personally are overworked, and I... On the human level, my body is tired at the end of the week when I put in a 35 to 40 hour work week. Plus, I have other work that I do, but a lot of people have been sharing photos lately about <clears throat> light and the color spectrum. And um, <clears throat> I used to be primarily um, in the paranormal and back then we would just look for spirits just ghosts, ordinary spirits, ghosts people that have passed, what have you um, it seems like in recent years and you those of you who have watched my videos know that I record the light and I like to look for elementals, fairies spirits, whatever um, you want to call them I look for them in my photos um and sometimes in my videos as well, and I, I'll do still shots, and, you know, I usually take about anywhere from 25 to 100 photos back-to-back, -back, non-stop, just ch -ch 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 -ch, and see what I get. And it's usually the best ones that I decide to edit, and, I mean, you can do amazing things with these photos. You can make them into art. Um, <clears throat> I personally attribute everything that I do to Reiki that that was the eye-opener for me, that was the tipping point where I truly feel that my skills, you know, really, um, as an energy worker come into play, and, um, it's very warm, I think we've all been in, like, a heat wave, um, anyways, I am very good at Reiki, and I enjoy doing Reiki, and I can do Reiki anywhere, at any point in time. Um, I just think it, and it happens. Um, those of you who do take the photos, and some of us share, some of the people don't want to share because they don't want anybody to know that they're doing this, but those are spirits, energies, um, color formations, geometric designs, light codes, um, I actually had taken a picture of my neck area and I blew it up and I realized that there were light codes embedded in my skin and I would say it was around 2013 that I really started noticing these anomalies, if you will. Um, I believe it's energy. I believe everything is energy and that these light sources are showing us things, telling us things about ourselves, telling us things about our chakras, telling us things about our auric system, and it can even, if there are things you can even see past lives, you can see energies, you can see illness, you can see so many things in those images that you take of the light spectrum, and the best time of the day to do it is typically early morning when you first see the rays of the sun coming through windows or you go outside or on your porch or what have you. Primarily, I was using my upstairs bedroom window, but I've now been doing it outside. Plus, when I go up north, I do film and do that. And the energies are a little bit different there to here. Although I do sometimes get some of the same anomalies in my photos. And, you know, scientifically, people say, oh, it's just the lens on your phone or your camera. That's true. The lens is manipulating. It is showing you an effect that is occurring around you. But there are energies there, and those energies are visible in that color spectrum. And you will see it rainbow lights, but you'll see orbs, you can see faces, you can see beings. <clears throat> I take it a step further, and I have been creating art using um, a bisymmetrical program, which I've been looking for this program for years. I don't know why I didn't think to just look it up myself, but someone had offered the, you know, the knowledge to me to use the program and, and anybody can use this program and it's really given me um, kind of an edge on the creative aspect of where these photos can really go. I don't know how they're going to print. I do my art, my angel art, my guide art, 
that is printing okay, but these are, since they're photos, it's photo light, I think we may need to, if we are printing them, that anybody is interested, we would probably be printing them on photo paper. Um, the beings are already there. These spirit beings, these light beings, these creatures of light are already there. We're just taking it a step further and we're looking past that veil and in a lot of cases, those of us experiencing this, we, we, are, we no longer have this veil over our, our, our being. We don't have it over our thought process. We have expanded our mind to the point where the veil has completely lifted. I have to keep checking the time. Sorry, folks. Um, <laughs> I still haven't signed up for that full, you know, YouTube thing. But, you know, I really wanted to talk about this because it is a big deal. And I have been enjoying um, making these photos and bringing them to life based on the fact that I'm already being allowed into that spectrum, into that circle, uh, um, not only of awareness, but they're, they're reaching out to me. They want to be seen. Um, the ones that I've been really encountering a lot more lately are what I call the blue race, the blue people. Um, there's different names for them. I personally call them the blue vishudas. Um, it's just a name that I kind of picked up along the way. I'm sure that's not what they're really called. Um, some people, you know, the movie Avatar um, depicts the blue people. Um, and in a couple of the last images, they really did look like avatars. Um, I've been finding a lot of eyes in my photos. And when you line them up in this program, the eyes, you know, are there, and they're already there, but it creates more of an image of what the being could possibly look like, and, um, I've seen it all, ETs, angels, light beings, guardians, guides, spirits, spirits that just passed on, um, a friend of mine just recently passed on, and she showed up in the photos, and I knew it was her, I just knew it was her, um, radiant purple light, soft pink hues, rainbow streams, um, anybody can go and look at those pictures, that's, um, Activate Sacred Light Codes, um, on Facebook, um, I have a SoundCloud as well, um, www.soundcloud slash Oriel Watcher, and it's O-R-I-E-L-I-E-L-W-A-T-C-H-E-R, I still do Reiki, I still do hypnosis, um, I do color therapy. I'm very interested in now photographing people and getting their light codes and their source codes and their color codes to see how they, A, how they may differ from mine, but to kind of prove that this is a moderately new, bizarre kind of thing. And they back in the day when they used to take photographs, the spirit photos, it, they would call it, I think, ectoplasm. Sometimes it reminds, some of the photos remind me of that, but not quite to that degree do they remind me of that. It's more like vibrant, beautiful energies, colorful, letting us know that these spirits, that these beings, that I've seen fairies this way, um, sprites, little, you know, there's different kinds of elementals. People ask me all the time, well, what is this and what is that? They have sylphs. I believe those are more air orientated. Well, water sylphs and air sylphs, they might be similar creatures. Um, a very close relative of mine can see them in the forest and the different kinds, brownies, elves, dwarves. But when I say dwarf, I don't mean it in any negative con contest. I mean the ancient elemental type that lived in caves and, um, you know, those types. They were smaller, like, gnome-like. Um, I once recorded prints in the middle of winter, a very small print, and it was just one print, and I laughed because it was like a gnome footprint. Um, fairies, sprites, uh, tink like the Tinkerbell types, They're, you know, the flashing lights, those are bugs, but still, those are part of the elemental kingdom. I believe insects are part of the elemental kingdom, and... <clears throat>
you will get them in your photographs, just like you'll get spirits in your photographs and other um, little cute little beings. So I really hope that my face is showing and everything and that I don't look terrible. I'm doing this video improv and I do most of my work improv. Those of you who like my music, you can go to my SoundCloud page. Those of you who want to get in touch with me through Facebook, that's fine. But I'm a no-nonsense type of person and I... If your energy isn't right, I'm not going to let you on my page. Nothing personal. I'm sure many of you feel the same way. Um, I'm going to be starting to do more videos, and I am going to be going back up to the lake to do some more of those videos. And I don't even know if I ever posted those. I should probably look if I posted those from the last trip up there. Um, I'm finding my yard has a lot of elementals, but I make fairy gardens, and for locals, those of you that are local, you can contact me through Facebook, and my real name is Chantel Cash. I also, it shows up as Marie Pansters, that's my family name and my middle name, um, and those of you who want to buy a fairy garden, they're in full bloom right now, they're absolutely beautiful and gorgeous, I really wish I, I could probably, maybe I'll do a short little video on my fairy garden so people can see my fairy gardens and we'll post that as a video um, for the locals who might want to be interested in buying. Um, they really um, have been thriving since being outside. Um, going back to shortly, because I have to end this video soon, um, lately I've been seeing the light codes and the colors that I see in the sunlight in the morning and the evening at dusk in my mind's eye and I want you all to, if you like those photos and you like those videos, go there and I encourage you to take in that energy and feel that energy and use the color and the light codes and the elemental beings that are reaching out to you through those photographs. They are there in your personal space for a reason. Reach out to them, let them touch your heart and let them be with you now. Here's some Reiki. I have to check my time. I have about a minute and a half and I'm going to silently do some Reiki here. Sending love and light and joy and pure energy. And when you close your eyes, you can imagine golden light or silver light and a triangle. And in the center are these beautiful little sparkly beings that are just glittering all over. And they are flying around in your mind's eye. And you invite them in so that they will be visible in your photographs. and then pure healing white light and rose quartz light and emerald green light for the heart, carnelian light, orange for the sacral. Going from the root all the way up from your hara, your sacral, your heart, your throat, and your third eye and your crown and washing away all debris and negativity. And you do feel good, don't you? Namaste. Aho. Love and light. Much love and much light.